And now, your first alert weather. We have isolated thunderstorms in the region here today. Right now in Pocatello, 80 degrees, sunny out, but you do see a thunderstorm just off to the south side of Pocatello that moved maybe uh, across Ankum late this afternoon, and that's continuing to move west out towards American Falls. We're getting good breezes off near some of these storms, too. You see 11 miles an hour of sustained winds, but some of those gusts already reaching up to 30 if not 40 miles per hour underneath some of these isolated thunderstorms across the region. Let's look at them now. Got a good isolated thunderstorm just passing off to the south side of Pocatello. It's continuing to move westward out towards American Falls right now. Elsewhere, dealing with some isolated thunderstorms out down towards uh, the southern highlands and the border with Utah. We're also looking at a good cell moving in between Blackfoot and Pocatello, maybe just to the north side of Fort Hall. Have a good amount of lightning strikes in a cell that's moving out towards Shelley and Firth just out to the south side of Idaho Falls. Elsewhere out towards Jackson, most of the heavier rain and lightning has moved off just out to the south side of Jackson, and that's continuing to move across the Tetons and into Swan Valley in the next couple of minutes. We're also dealing with some isolated thunderstorms out towards central Idaho, too, next to a low pressure system, which is mainly building in that wet weather closer to central Idaho. Most of the monsoonal flow has been giving us those isolated thunderstorms out in the lower Snake River Plain and out towards southeastern Idaho and western Wyoming late this afternoon. Where you see the high pressure system in Colorado, the low pressure system in Washington, most of those systems are going to look to stay put over the next couple of days, which means we're going to get continued rounds of isolated thunderstorms over the next couple of days. So let's look at that here on the Vipercast. In for the next few hours, we'll expect these showers to continue into 7, 8 o'clock tonight at least around central Idaho, up and down the border of Idaho and Wyoming, and some isolated thunderstorms out for southeastern Idaho, with some of these showers trying to make a move out towards the Snake River Plain, and some of those showers are definitely going to get out towards that area late tonight, too. We'll expect a quick, uh, nice dry up uh, in the weather for tonight before we spawn. A lot of those isolated thunderstorms once again for tomorrow afternoon. We'll look for most of these showers tomorrow afternoon to be focused more towards the Snake River Plain, Upper Snake, and out towards western Wyoming and southeastern Idaho before they look to disappear Sunday, heading into Monday, and then same rinse and repeat for Monday afternoon. So we'll expect more rounds of those isolated thunderstorms to continue well into the work week too. 60% chances of rain on Sunday and Monday for Yellowstone with those highs staying a little bit cooler down into the upper 60s and lower 70s there. Here for the eight to, or forecast for tomorrow, here's your highs and lows. 84 in Preston tomorrow, 81 in Lava Hot Springs, 82 in Soda Springs, 81 in Jackson, 87 in Rexburg, and we'll continue with those highs into the 80s slash lower 90s into the work week too. 83 in Arco, 83 in Ketchum, 89 in Chalice. Lastly, the Snick playing. Get those highs up to the mid to upper 80s in Blackfoot in Pocatello. Here's your eight-day forecast in Blackfoot. 20% chance of rain over the next two days with those isolated afternoon thunderstorms. Then we roll over the rain chance to only stray showers in for Tuesday and Wednesday, but highs are going to stay in the upper 80s. In Rexburg, highs in the upper 80s to mid-80s over the next couple days. We'll have some isolated thunderstorms again tomorrow afternoon, but mainly we'll save most of them for Monday afternoon with a greater 30% chance of rain then. In Jackson, 40% chance of rain showers and thunderstorms on Sunday and Monday, maybe even continuing well into the work week too. Highs are going to be in the lower 80s there to upper 70s later in the week. In Salmon, 91 tomorrow, and 91 also for Monday. 10% chance of a rain shower tomorrow. We'll stick with mainly the hazy conditions in throughout the afternoon with some daytime heating really fueling up those fires. In Pocatello, 89 degrees tomorrow, 20% chance of rain. We're up to highs in the lower 90s for the beginning half of the work week before dropping to the upper 80s in the second half of the work week. Lastly, in Idaho Falls, highs in the upper 80s have those 20 to 10% rain chances pretty much throughout the entire work week. So we're going to continue with this monsoonal flow for quite some time. Let's send it back over to Linda. All right. Thanks so much, Evan. Now that forecast